that you've been dealing with. And in this world of, of such, well, discourse or lack thereof, uh, as we're talking about the presidential race and things like that and how low we can get, always you have, you have treated everybody with respect and that's how this came about. So, um, so there you go, let's give it a shot. <laughs> How do you want to be treated? Then treat them like you want to be. How do you think they'll ever change into what you think they're going to be? How do you have courage to take the first step from the dark into the light? You just do it because it's right. What about the guy over there who isn't ever going to play fair? What about the woman who looks you in the eyes and she don't care? What about half of the world that looks at you like you're a crazy and misled fool? You just do it, cause you have to In this world, there is dark In this world, there is light both of them live in me. I hope I'm crazy enough to choose carefully. Nobody can stop you from being compassionate when they are so cruel. No one can make you give your integrity away if you don't want to. When you quit or wondering why the world is berserk and roll up your sleeves even though you're scared You are more than halfway there So how do you want to be treated? Then treat them like you want to be How do you think they'll ever change into what you think they're gonna be? How do you find courage to take the first step from the dark into the light? You just do it because it's right. Cause in this world, there is dark. In this world, there is light. Both of them live in me. I hope I'm crazy enough to choose carefully. So how do you want to be treated? Treat them like you want to be. How do you think they'll ever change into what you think they're going to be? How do you have courage to take the first step from the dark into the light? You just do it. You just do it, you just do it, because it's right. So just before we leave, I want to thank the people that contributed to that commissioning that special song for her. And I want to recognize his wife and family, Virginia and girls, hold up the kids. Virginia, would you stand up and uh, there you go. Please, please do. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. That's why you carry. And now the last word to Herb Morgan Feller. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I have to come back to one thing that drives me, and it's an expression that we use up in Moorhead, Minnesota at that school, and it's called brew. 
and it means become responsibly engaged in the world. And I think that signifies what Over Coffee is trying to do, is to get us all to be responsibly engaged in the world and to make a difference. And hopefully this past 21 years, we've learned some things, we've heard some things, and tonight was a great example. And I gotta tell you, the five dynamic women far exceeded our expectations. Uh, well over 550 plus people have come to hear those five women. And it was spectacular. So thank you for your support and your help. And all those over the years who have volunteered, who've been on committees, who've helped pick up coffee, who brought back the mugs, who've cleaned up and done all those good things. And Jim and Deborah and Neil especially, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And we'll be around. And over coffee will come back uh, in a little different form. So thank you again.